Southdown News. A white resident of South Downs was questioned by police in the shooting deaths of two colored men this evening. Witnesses say that South Downs resident Hollis Dupree was involved in an altercation with Lamont Harris, 24, and Trey McCall, 25, ending with the shooting of the two young men. Police released Mr. Dupree on his own recognizance after he claimed to act in self-defense and the two victims trespassed on his front porch. Witnesses claim the two men, recently returned from tours in Vietnam, were seeking help with a flat tire. <laughs> wow. What a jackass. I shot them from self-defense. I didn't know what those black boys were going to be doing, officer. All right, all right, all right. You're free to go. Oh, thank God. Thank God they didn't find out that I'm really just a racist motherfucker. Ha! Mm, there's quite a few things around here that I could take. Open up! Open the goddamn door! Fine, I'll open it normally. Watch where you're going. You watch where you're going, lady. I'm going nowhere. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. So what is this? This is fuse, fuse, fuse. I should probably, while we're over here, get the junction box tapped up. Oh, it was up here. <laughs> I thought it was going to be in the building. At this point, I'm just kind of keeping an eye on the map to see if, there, if I'm passing by any fuses. It's not too terrible to grab these things. Even if it is a little bit of a nuisance. Okay, this one's underground. I'm not gonna bother. I mean, we could, we could, we, I was telling that beforehand, but I was hoping that maybe it would just be like a little bit just down, just like on tracks or something. The smell of hot dog. New Bordeaux, absolutely. The added expense of a brand new state. One our city would put the bill for, of course. Along with all of the traffic and congestion that can come with the new stadium complex. Oh, and let's not forget the part where no team has been willing to offer us more than a 10-year contract. Y'all see where I'm going from this country. Last year, the prospect of getting our own sounded too good to be true. The mayor was promising us a new multi-use venue for pro ball games and events, both of which are features our city could absolutely use. But as the talks have gone on, it seems like the only people a new stadium would benefit are the mayor, the city council, and whatever team is able to suck a new Bordeaux into footing the bill for this awfully bad idea. And it is a bad idea. No one seems to know how many millions of dollars this thing is going to cost or where the money's going to come from. Well, I'll tell you where. From you and me, dear listener. <laughs> That's right. New taxes. We don't know where this thing would go. A negotiation process that's been as shadowy as it's been rushed. And we're talking about the big boy fantasies from a handful of city bureaucrats. If your memory goes back far enough, dear listener, that's how we ended up with Baron Saturday's Fun Park out in the hollow. It's an eyesore, and who knows what kind of criminal element it's attracting. Does it seem like rambling raid papados trying to recapture the glory of their college football days? All right, all right, I apologize. There's no need for me to talk about the mayor in that way. But City Hall is chasing after a football team while the proposal to legalize gambling is just gathering dust. Oh, what's that? You hadn't heard about this? <laughs> well, I'm sure you haven't, with good reason. City Hall has worked hard to keep it on the hush-hush. 
Late last year, the mayor's office blocked a proposal to allow gambling in New Bordeaux. Now, I know, I know, you hear the word gambling and it conjures up back alley games and the seediness of something like Vegas. But that's not what City Hall is trying to squash. What if we could have Monte Carlo on the Mississippi? Legalized games right here in Bourbon City, bringing in folks to this jewel of the South. That's not just money from penny slots. That's jobs and hotels, restaurants, more folks coming through the French Ward. Why, instead of costing taxpayers like you and me a bunch of good money, legalized gambling would pay us. Even a decent chance our taxes could go down. Make your voices known here, New Bordeaux. Remind City Hall and the mayor that this is a democracy. If you want to see New Bordeaux build something for the future, not drag this city deeper into debt, write to the mayor's office and let them know you want City Hall to make the sure bet on legalized gambling. Hey, I know that's what I'm going to do. Until next time, dear listener, this is Remy Duval. <laughs> you know, this guy sounds like, uh... Like Nolan North, I'm actually looking, looking that up right now. Well, that was an interesting little thing, hearing him talk about the stadium and legalizing gambling in the city. Yep, I'm right. Mafia 3, Remy, Remy Duval. That was fucking Nolan North. I fucking knew it. Okay. Just wanted to confirm that for myself. Open the door. Give me this armor for free. I wish I had a pocket radio, man. It would mean less sitting around waiting for news things to go through. It's a lot harder to hear fucking radio stations talking when the car is doing like... Can I spin out? Eh, not so much. Like, if you hold down your brake button and then also the accelerator, nothing really happens. Where the hell is that music coming from? I thought it was gonna- I thought it was like, uh, just game music. Background game music, someone's playing the banjo. But that's not the case. Yeah, too bad it got shut down because it was really fucking creepy, probably. Imagine being incredibly into country music. There are people out there. But I would go crazy if I had to hear a banjo every fucking day. What's it say? Shit happens. Truck drives by, driver has a life changing moment, walks away. So that's where we step in. Alright. We got a lot of people to fuck up, so let's try out the Hit Squad. I'm looking for some backup. My pal Vito says y'all are some bad motherfuckers. Well, Vito ain't wrong. In fact, he's very, very right. Hey, we got some time to give you a hand. So sorry. All right, boys. I hope you're ready. Are you gonna open fire immediately, or is it gonna be like a wait for me to shoot kind of thing? Oh damn. Okay. They just go for it. You guys deal with that. I'll deal with her. Stop that. Okay. Don't shoot him! I wanted him to get reinforced. He's good. All right, that's fair enough, I suppose. Dude, they just fucking annihilated this group. Cut that sack of shit down. Fucking stuck. You never see coming. Holy shit. So, uh, you guys want to stick with me? 
<laughs> you know, for longer than just this one little thing? No. I'm gonna take the car. Dude, they annihilated that group. There was no mercy. I didn't have to do shit for that. I might not really call the hit squads that much. Unless I'm in real trouble. Like I'm sitting in the back of a place and I have no ammo at all. It might happen. Thank you, Playboy, for having that incredibly safer work cover of just the Playboy icon. I guess maybe that's not so safe for it. If somebody saw the Playboy icon on a magazine that you have on your desk at work, you're probably gonna get a talking to. Alright, so how much of this place do we have wiretapped? How much of this place counts as River Row? Okay, we only have two more places in River Road to... ...to hit up with the junction boxes. Okay, that's not so bad. That's a depressing song. And you went and stood me up again! We're changing the tracks. The sound of the car, like, the tires screeching is fucking... dreadful. It's like... It's like the whole nails on chalkboard thing. Ugh, god, even thinking about that... irritates me. But that's the sound the cars always make, like, I'm fucking... trying to accelerate, but I forgot that I had the brakes on or some shit. That's what it constantly sounds like sometimes. I don't know about you guys, but my car doesn't sound like this when I start to accelerate. God damn, how many fuse boxes out here? I'm gonna grab them because we're in the area. And we're about to go do this uh, contraband mission anyways. So I might as well multitask. So I'm just gonna stay on foot. Then I don't have to listen to the at all. Maybe your place would be a bit better if you didn't just have a whole shitload of electronics sitting around. What did you just say? Don't make me put you in your place? Who said that? Was it you? Coming through. Hey, watch it! Out of the way. Don't be rude. Watch it. Hey, watch it! Out of the way. Don't be rude. Watch. Watch where you're going. Look. Watch where you're going. I just want to see if she'd like get pissed off and try to call the cops. I'm gonna harass by this Negro. All right, is that everything? I think it is. All right. Time to take out another racket. Boy, it's rattled. Scared of Greco. Terrified of you. <laughs> Heard he started sleeping at the warehouse. It's the only place he feels safe. Good. Means I have an easier time getting my hands on him. Once he's taken care of, we'll move in. Vito will turn things around. You'll see. Alright, confront Roy Thebadu. That is an intense name. So how much does it cost to actually call the hit squad? 3,000? That's not so bad, honestly, for like a group of people who pretty much eliminate the entire area for you. Now the question is, will it stay 3,000 all the way to the end game? Oh, 
I was about to sh just slam through this gate. It's not what I need. It's right out here. <laughs> if I want to raise, I'll ask for a raise. Sometimes they don't allow that, girl. That's the problem. You think people don't know about that? Jeez. How many other things are out here? We got one more along the way. I'm gonna grab it. Because I might as well. But yeah, no, I want the, uh, I want the hit squad to come in just like fully armored up. Ready to rumble. Oh, this is the one that's underground that I have no idea how to get to. Then I guess never mind, we're not grabbing that. So this is the same warehouse that we hit before that got me killed for the first time in this game? Well, second time. Whoops. No, no, please don't. I really don't want to shoot you. out of here. Also you too. <laughs> he did nothing wrong, but just in case he got me in trouble, we couldn't deal with that shit. Right, how many people do they got in this place? We got at least eight or ten. I'm gonna try and get up to the sniping position that I know of. If this is the same place. I just don't know exactly where the hell I'm going. Ah, here we go. Found it. Alright. Let's rock some ass. Jesus, I'm sorry. How old was he? 23. It's the war that fucked him up. He got hooked overseas. How's your mom taking it? I haven't even told her yet. Don't really know how. Sometimes I wonder if we should even be selling that shit. If we didn't sell it, somebody else would. Yeah. Yep. And everybody could benefit from the money. You know, until you get killed by, say... Me. This way. What the shit? <laughs> somebody, I heard somebody go, "What the shit?" Which means somebody else must have seen it, or his voice got projected somewhere else. I don't fucking know. I'm a bloodthirsty animal. I have to kill. I, I never call for help. Yeah, call for help, buddy. Go for it. I need cover and fire, River Road. Nothing. On our way. Oh, they came in here and everything. Gotcha. Yeah! Now we got a full war going on! Holy shit! Look how many people there are! Oh, fantastic! Oh, 
Uh, you know, I think my gang left. That's not good. I thought they would stay for the whole encounter. That's fine, I can handle myself. I'm a grown man. I don't know my way around a gun or two. Oh, hi there, friends. What do you see? Oh, oh, oh. Nothing anymore. <laughs> yeah, nice try, but that didn't work out. Yeah, are you gonna stay down for it? What? Uh, oh. <laughs> well, better gun would probably be the sniper. Here, over here. All the way over there, huh? <laughs> All right, we rock the worlds. Get Hello? That stupid son of a bitch. Oh, we still got a survivor. <laughs> okay. Also, hey, I didn't notice this was here before. Did I miss anything? Not really. That's fine. Are you out of your? What the fuck? Do you see that? <laughs> it's my other me's. They're prepared. To demonstrate the worlds and the infinite timelines and the infinite choices that we have. But for me, I I'm can recruiting. Make things good again for you, Roy. Join my crew. Great. That sounds great. Whatever you say. See? Things are already looking up. And punch. All right, Vito. Now I can get increased health by the looks of it. I'm happy about that. I said, Vito. Need you guys to secure the smuggling operation at the warehouse. I'll send them over. And Lincoln, just cause Greg goes a dipshit doesn't mean he's a pushover. Ooh, I'll retaliation squad. Some men have him try and take you out. So watch your ass. Get your hands on Greco and rough him up all you want. But don't kill him. That's for me. All right. You're gonna send retaliation squads? I love retaliation squads. More chances to fight and fuck somebody up. Oh! I was in the third platoon company C of the 614 tank destroyer battalion during World War II. I trained as a medic, but I still carried a gun. Every man in our company was black. Army didn't know what to do with us other than they didn't want us fighting with the white men. Klimbach. Klimbach was that little French town up there near the border with Germany, and we were ordered to take it. Now, the crowds took out three of the four anti-tank guns we had. But there was no way in hell we were letting them get the better of us. We were determined to show we was just as good, if not better, than every other soldier in the service. I, I don't like talking about the medals I got over there. 
Only way a man survives something like that is through the grace of God. Doesn't seem right celebrating a little piece of tin. No one knows I helped Lincoln except for you and John Donovan. Not that I'm keeping it a secret, mind you. Just that nobody ever came around and asked about it. Interesting. I wonder who's asking him questions. Obviously, I, we were assuming that it's like a person doing a documentary trying to find out about us. But what if it's not? What if it's just like a friend or descendant of a friend? They're like, hey, so... I hear that my dad used to work with Lincoln Clay. Can you tell me about that? That kind of scenario. I guess we'll see, though. All right, you can take more damage now that you've gained another health bar. Oh, just give it to me immediately. Fantastic. And hopefully, uh, my adrenaline shots still fill up my entire health bar. So that means I really can't just sit there and be like, ha ha, no one can take me out. Little Babette got herself sick. Uh, hey, hey, cops. What are you, what are you? Where do you think you're going? What's going on here? Hey, did you guys find the bodies? Because, um... Yeah. Oops. Alright. We gotta go talk to... Oh, we're just gonna... Meet up with Vito down here. I thought we were gonna have to go all the way back up to the docks. Alright, that works out. I don't even need a car. I can run 100 meters. It's a good workout for the legs. Although it's a weird thing to kind of do a workout before something that's gonna work you generally out anyways. Just like as a random note, like, even like going to like conventions, sometimes you have friends who are like, I'm gonna go work out in the hotel gym, and I sit there going, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Kill your limbs before three to four days of killing them even more. That will be fun. Oh, I have to go on the driver's side. What the fuck is the point then, Vito? 